At least 10 women are now being sued for taking to a private Facebook group sharing their experiences dating one California man in particular. And the posts were made in a private Facebook group called Are We Dating the Same Guy? Los Angeles. The lawsuit accuses the women of defaming him, invading his privacy. The man alleges that the women posted falsehoods, including that he's suspected of murder, that he has several domestic violence charges against him, that he had sexually transmitted diseases, also that he lied about being an attorney. Now, Stuart Lucas Murray released a statement saying, in part, for years, key defendants obsessively tracked, stalked, and incited harassment against me. These are women with whom I had little to no interaction. Joining us now, two of the defendants, two of the women in this lawsuit, Olivia Berger and Vanessa Valdez. Thank you both for your time. And Olivia, I do want to start with you. You went out on a date with Murray. What happened? What was he like? Uh, correct. Yeah, I did meet uh, Mr. Murray on a date in October of 2021. And essentially, it was, um, I think, a little bit above and beyond the typical bad date experience. In my, in my experience of dating, um, it started off with him taking issue with the various policies of the hotel as far as COVID, and then it escalated from there to him kind of um, um, just being very arrogant towards me, very rude in his language and his tone, um, kind of um, challenging me in, in conversation. It, again, wasn't a friendly conversation where we were having healthy debate. It was more so him uh, it seemed shoving his opinions. Um, in my opinion, they they were pretty um, conspiracy theory esque, um, shoving them down my down my throat. It seemed, um, and I did make comment to him that I you know didn't agree with what he was saying and we should change the subject. And uh, he then um, you know still asked me to accompany him um, back to his place after. Um, the date was wrapping up, and of course, I did not. So why did you post in the private Facebook group? What, what were you trying to warn other women about, and what was the response like? Um, I did not, uh, to be clear, I did not make the initial post. So um, I had joined the group um, well after my date with him, um, months later, I believe. And um, I was just scrolling one day, and I happened upon this photo of his face right on my phone and I just had an immediate response to that because if you have a date that's bad you don't forget about it um, so I found the post after there were already a number of comments um, from various women talking about their experiences with him um, so my comment was simply my initial comment was simply just adding my experience on that bad date with him were you surprised to be involved in a lawsuit um, I, I want to say yes, because it is it is kind of, in my opinion, pretty drastic measure to take against someone who said something truthful about you, although negative. Um, but again, given this particular plaintiff's history and his litigious nature, um, this is a pattern for him. Um, anybody can simply Google his name and find the various lawsuits that he's in, been involved um, in the past with. Um, I, I can't say that I'm all too surprised that he chose to go this route. Vanessa, you also had an interaction with Marie. What happened when you connected with him? Um, it was pretty quick out of the gate. He said, let's hang and give me his phone number. Um, he initiated a match with me on Hinge and uh, commented on a photo of mine on my profile where he said, let's hang and gave me his phone number. I said, bold move, and I gave him a happy face. And then he immediately followed with, I'm amused by how you'll mess it up. Oh, wait, you already did. Why is there a guy in your pick, genius? To which I replied, uh, I don't know why you think you can talk to me that way. Read my caption, genius. And then he said, nobody reads captions, moron, but it's fun watching you burn, LOL. Um, then he went on to say, listen, I wish you well in your search. Good luck. To which I did not respond. Then he sent me another message saying, uh, some more harassment uh, followed. Uh, he said, um, you know, I know my credentials are uh, not worthy of you, much less my looks, but can you please have your pet get its hair all over my nice clothes? Something very bizarre. And that, you know, I have screenshots of that. We have proof. Yeah. Um, to make it very clear, I never met this guy. You know, I blocked and reported him right after that.
Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.